move, I guess it's fine with me as long as we have a place to stay with my dad. And with my dad, I haven't, I used to cry a lot when I was in like second grade after my parents divorced because I missed my dad so much. And I still do when he comes to visit and he's just a really big part of my life. And after I graduate high school, I'm going to move down and live with him for a couple of years and do the community college thing and finally figure out what I want to do for college. This would be my car. I love the color purple and so for Christmas slash birthday, I got a car because I got my license a couple months ago and they were like, hey, you need something to drive because I'm not driving my mom's brand new vehicles because she doesn't trust me. <laughs> she doesn't like the way I drive, but I drive better than she does most of the time. She drives fast and I'm more careful. Um, spot of randomness would be up here. I'm a pretty random person and I have trail mix up there because every time I get trail mix, I sort everything out. Like I will pick the M&Ms out and set them in a separate bowl and then I'll eat the cashews and the almonds first and then I'll have <laughs> the peanuts and the raisins OCD? <laughs> yeah, kind of. Just checking. Kind of, but it's not prescribed, I guess. <laughs> and then I'll eat the M&Ms by, I'll sort them by color and then eat them by number. <laughs> yeah, I do that with just about like jelly beans and just about anything else. It's and I have a couple more things to share with you guys. I, does anyone know what language this is? Japanese. Asian. That would be Japanese. Um, quite a few years ago, I had a babysitter, babysitter named Marcy Carney, and she would have. She has a friend who lives in Japan currently, and she comes back into town every couple of years. And I met her and fell in love with the Japanese culture. I love it so much that I eventually want to go and stay with her for a couple weeks. Her name is Karu, and she has a little five-year-old boy, and she's amazing and put up with all of my crazy questions about how they live and how Tokyo is, and I just love that culture. This is actually my name in the big letters, and there's uh, different uh, definitions on the back for all the writing, so if you guys want to check that out. It's laminated, so I won't mess it up. This would be my cell phone. I never go without my cell phone in school. It's always in my pocket. It's off, of course, but because <laughs> that would be I'm not lying. It's, just, it's off. And then my iPod. I'm looking to upgrade to a 32 gig iTouch and because this 8 gig can't hold all the music I want. I want more. I love music. It's my thing. And probably the lowest point in my life would be when my parents got divorced, as I said, and this past summer was another low because my brother decided that he didn't want to see my dad anymore. He decided to kind of throw a fit and, um, I guess, start having words with my stepmom and they don't get along and he would fight with my stepbrother, Hunter, and it really scares me because my brother is a bit bigger than Hunter. He's actually probably twice the size, I'm not going to lie. And, uh, I do believe Hunter's strong, but my brother basically started to tear apart my family and family means a lot to me and my dad is a big part of my life so it sucked to hear that one of my closest brothers would want to do that to me. But 
down to probably the highest part of my life is my future. I can't wait to start my life after high school to live with my dad in music. I want to minor in music composition. I don't know how well that'll work. And I, my future is what I'm looking forward to. It's what gets me through the day, I guess, when I'm having rough times. And that's me. Well done, sunshine.